Welcome to the IGCSC Computer Science Code 0478 guide. This guide will consist of 12 chapters covering the full IGCSE Computer Science syllabus. I specifically made this guide for my IBMYP personal project because I wanted to help other students in studying computer science and achieving better grades in the least amount of time. Anyways, let's start with the first chapter which is Binary and Hexadecimal Systems. Here, you will be learning about converting binary to denary, converting binary to hexadecimal, converting denary to hexadecimal, and the uses of binary and hexadecimal in computers. The decimal or denary number system counts in multiples of 10, using the digits 0 to 9 to represent the number. It is basically the number system we use to solve math problems and the numbers we use in our daily lives. On the other hand, the binary system is based on the number 2, using the digits 0 and 1 to represent a number, converting decimal to binary. The top row includes the powers of 2. We start with 2 to the power 0 and increment the power by 1 every time we move to the left. So, 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1, 2 to the power 1 is equal to 2, 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4, etc. Choose the greatest power of 2 that will fit into the number you're converting. Place a 1 for each successive number that fits in and a 0 if it does not. Continue this until the end of the table. Let's take an example of 169. The largest number that can be subtracted from 169 is 128. So 169 minus 128 is equal to 41. The next biggest number is 32, so we subtract it to get 9. And the next number is 8, so 9 minus 8 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So we put a 1 for each number which, which does fit. So we put a 1 under 128, 32, 8, and 1. So our binary number is 1010-1001. Converting binary to decimal. This is actually quite simple. We start by drawing the same table. And whenever a 1 appears in the column, the value of the column is added to the total value of the number in decimal. Start with the last binary digit to prevent errors. Adding the values together, we get 197. Converting binary to hexadecimal and vice versa. This is very simple as long as you familiarize yourself with the values on the right. First, let's understand what hexadecimal is. The hexadecimal system, also referred to hex, is a base 16 system which uses 16 different values to represent a digit. The hexadecimal system uses the numbers 0 to 9 and the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F. It is closely related to the binary system. Since 16 is equal to the 2 to the power 4, 4 binary digits are equal to 1 hexadecimal digit. We can see this in the diagram to the right. The easiest way to convert binary to hexadecimal and vice versa is by familiarizing yourself with the table to the right. I suggest drawing the table or memorizing the values when you're faced with such questions. For example, 0111111 in binary is 7f in hexadecimal, and 9af in hexadecimal is equal to 1001 1010101111. Converting hexadecimal to decimal. First, Take your hexadecimal number and multiply each digit with the power of 16, gradually increasing that power by 1. Add the total of each digit to obtain its decimal value. Note that you need to start from the right to the left of the hexadecimal number when applying the powers. The table on the right can be used to help find out which hexadecimal value is equivalent to the decimal number. Let's take 28D as an example. 
We start with 16 to the power 0 on the right, which is equal to 1. Then 16 to the power 1 is equal to 16, and 16 to the power 2 is equal to 256. We multiply each decimal va hexadecimal value sorry, with the powers, and then add the values together to get 653. Another example, 1d2c. We start with 16 to the power 0, then 16 to the power 1, then 16 to the power 2, and finally 16 to the power 3, which is 4096. Again, we multiply each hexadecimal value with the powers and add them together to get 7468. Converting decimal to hexadecimal. The easiest method to convert decimal to hexadecimal involves successive division of the hexadecimal number by 16. The remainders are used to give the hexadecimal values. The remainders are read from bottom to top to find the hexadecimal values. Let's take 2020 as an example. First, 2020 divided by 16 is equal to 126 remainder 4, which is 4 in hexadecimal. Then, 126 divided by 16 is equal to 7 remainder 14, which is E in hexadecimal. Then, 7 divided by 16 is equal to 0 remainder 7, which is 7 in hexadecimal. Since we read the remainders from bottom to top, the hexadecimal number is 7E4. Another example, 7468. For this, you can refer to the table on the right to make it easier to find the hexadecimal values. 7468 divided by 16 is equal to 466 remainder 12, which is C. Then 466 divided by 16 is equal to 29 remainder 2, which is 2. 29 divided by 16 is 1 remainder 13, which is D. And 1 divided by 16 is 0 remainder 1, which is 1. Therefore, the hexadecimal number is 1D2C. The use of binary systems. Registers. A register is essentially a group of bits. They are used as part of a control system when, mic when computers slash microprocessors are used to control devices. We will learn more about this in the fourth chapter. For example, registers can be used in a digital clock, such as the one shown below. Each segment is labeled 1 to 7, which lights up to make a number. So, if we want to make the number 7, for example, segments 1, 2, and 3 will light up. Uses of hexadecimal systems Number 1. Memory dumps a memory dump includes memory contents that are output to a printer or monitor. Developers use memory dumps when developing a new software or to trace errors in programs. Memory dumps are usually written in hexadecimal since it is easier to work with. Here's an example of a memory dump. We can see that it is clearly much easier to read in hexadecimal than binary. Number two, hypertext markup language or HTML. HTML uses hex in order to represent colors of text on a computer screen using the format hashtag RRGGBB. The hashtag symbol indicates that the number has been written in hexadecimal. For example, the, code, the first code represents the primary red color, the second code represents the color green, and the third code represents the color blue. Number three. Media Access Control Addresses, or MAC Address. A MAC address is a unique number which identifies a device on the internet. It refers to the number, uh, sorry, the network interface card, NIC, which is part of the device. A MAC address is usually made up of 48 bits in the for following format. The first half, or NN, NN, and NN, identifies the device's manufacturer while the second half, DD, DD, and DD, identifies the unique serial number of the device. Number four, machine code and assembly language. 
These are the two types of low-level programming languages, which we will later learn in Chapter 7. Using hexadecimal makes it faster and less error-prone to write code compared to binary. It is also easy to mistype digits in the C of ones and zeros when writing code in binary. For example, the first code is written in true machine code, which is binary. The second code is written in assembly language in hexadecimal. And the third code is written in machine code in hexadecimal. We can see that it's much easier to read and write in hexadecimal than binary. Here are some exercise questions. Pause the video to try and solve them by yourself. All right, here are the answers. By the end of this video, you should know how to convert binary to denary and vice versa, convert binary to hexadecimal and vice versa, convert denary to hexadecimal and vice versa, and finally, identify the uses of binary and hexadecimal in computers. On the right are the resources used in the making of this video. I hope that you guys have found this video helpful and I hope that it has extended your knowledge about CS. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next chapter. Bye.